Today I'm going to show you exactly how you can import a behavior pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Um, so obviously the first thing that you want to have is this pack over here. Uh, in this case, this is my Villager Trading Made Easy pack. If that sounds like something you like, then download it through the description. Anyways, this is a behavior pack, and today we're going to be importing it. So if you're a bit unlucky, then you might have this. Um, a folder which doesn't have grass icons, so if you double click on it, it just opens up. Um, well. Um, it's very easy to fix this. What you want to do is you want to locate the dot zip over here at the end of the name. If you don't see dot zip, then you just want to open up File Explorer and then go to the View section. Then to Show, and then you want to make sure that File Name Extensions is ticked. If it's ticked, then you should see dot zip at the end over there. Then what you want to do is you want to right click on it and rename it. Don't rename the actual title, or you can if you want to, but that's not necessary. What you want to do is you want to come over to the dot zip part and then just remove that. Then you want to replace the dot zip with dot mc pack. That is dot mc p a c k. Then you can click and your computer will tell you that if you change a file in the extension, the file might become unusable. In this case, it'll still be usable, so you can just select yes. As you can see, now we are probably all on the same page. We all have this file with the grass icon. Anyways, double clicking on this will automatically launch Minecraft and it'll get imported. With your pack imported, um, when you launch Minecraft, you should see a pop-up over here, um, which says that your pack is imported. If there is an error with importing, then don't worry, that's not your fault at all. If you followed my steps, then that means that the person who made the pack did something wrong. Anyways, um, also, by the way, I made this background as well. You can download this texture pack through the description too. Um, anyways, um, going into settings and then to global resources over here, you'll see that because it's a behavior pack, it won't actually show up here. Um, and that's because, as I said, it's behavior pack. You want to not um, activate behavior packs through settings, but through worlds. So to activate a behavior pack, click on play, and then select any world that you want to activate this behavior pack in. For me, I'll just choose my redstone testing world. So you can click on edit over here, and then on the left side, you want to scroll down until you see behavior packs right over here. Then here in this menu, if you click on this, you should see that your pack shows up. As you can see, this is the pack I just imported right over here, SB64's Villager Trading Made Easy. To activate it, all you want to do is click on this, and then click on Activate. Then it'll tell you that you can't have achievements enabled if you want to use a behavior pack. You can just click on Continue, and then you can close this menu. Now, under the Active menu, you'll see the pack that you just enabled, and um, potentially also other packs that were already enabled. Anyways, now if you play or if you exit out of here, the behavior pack will be on and enabled for this world. If you want to enable a, a behavior pack for another world, then you can just repeat the process I just did. Anyways, that's it. If you have any more questions, then make sure to leave those down in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.